Hi all, welcome back to my channel Pi Spark Pearl. So in this video, I will be discussing one more interview question that was asked one in one of the MNC company, and I have a three question from my side. You know, so get more you know understanding about the question that we might get in you no know, other interview question, any other interviews as well. So let us go through the question. So you are tasked with the processing of a JSON file containing information about sales transaction. Each transaction record consists of a transaction ID, customer ID, product ID, quantity sold, and a timestamp of the transaction, right? Now our goal is to analyze the data using PySpark and perform the following task. Calculate a total sales revenue generated from each product. So this was the question and these three like I have added from my side. Identify the top selling product, determine total number of transactions for each customer, and find the customers who have made the most transaction. So uh, let us first understand the JSON file. So this is the JSON file with uh, a one block of a JSON and like we are having a multi-line JSON in this. Okay. So let me first remove this option as multi-line and let me uh, show you the uh, data frame. How it get created. Okay. How it get created. So you can see the data frame is uh, not created as you want right the data frame should be uh, like all the value should be coming perfectly corrupt records you know, corrupt records are there customer id is not coming properly product id is not coming properly so it is not coming fine so one parameter we should keep in mind when we are using, dealing with this multi-line uh, type of station we should always pass this multi-line as true okay this option we should provide then only we will get the right kind of data frame as desired right so you can see we got the right data frame as we expected now let us solve the question number one let me just copy the questions here in the second block the second tab and this is our data frame you can see this it is coming uh, perfectly fine now let us so uh, see the question number one calculate the total sales revenue generated from each product so from each product like we can like from this task only from this word only we understood that we, we need to do either partition or we can do group by okay so let us do group by agility should be done by uh, group by like uh, total sales it is asked right sum so this should be in group by only it will be easier there so let us do this product sales sales cf that we have created dot group by in which column we should do be doing the group by it should be the each product means product id column right you can see the product id column we should be doing the group by here and what we should be doing we should be doing the aggregation right then dot aggregate what aggregate what it has asked total sales revenue total sales revenue means we need to sum on which column revenue column right. uh, total sales revenue is uh, total sales revenue this should be the quantity column right one more no price should be there so that we can multiply but no issue just for understanding and give this as a quantity column and we can give us total quantity sold okay this should be uh, total quantity sold my mistake again this total quantity sold for each product okay. so this is called quantity okay then also we can uh, analyze it as total quantity sold Total quantity sold. So this is it. I think this should be uh, fine. Let us visualize this data frame. Let us see if any error is there. Yeah, it is coming fine. So we can see for product ID one, total quantity sold was seven. You can see one and one, two plus three, then two to seven. Yeah, it is coming fine. So we are getting correct record as expected right now let us solve the task number two task two and what is our task two our task is to identify the top top selling product okay 
So how we can identify a top selling product? Top selling product can be identified from this data frame only, product sales CF. So we can see that uh, like whichever has the largest quantity, right? So we can uh, get this. We need to order by descending, right? So uh, most uh, top selling product. Top selling product is equal to product sales GF. Need to do order by. Order by which column we need to do? This one, total quantity sold that we have aliased, right? Quantity sold and this should be descending, right? So descending. And we want the first value. So we will just give the first. Okay. Now let us see this data frame as well. Attributor show. Okay. Let me uh, print this. This cannot be showed. This can be print right. Because now this should be coming as listed. Let's print this total selling product. Yeah. So product ID is equal to one. Total quantity sold is equal to seven. Okay. So we can see this, the uh, product ID is one and the total quantity sold is seven. So this is our top selling product, right? Okay, we can also, you know, get this as, uh, if we put it as zero, then we might get this. That product ID, yeah, product ID is one. So like no need, it can be like it is mother understood. So if we directly run this like this only, this will better understand it because all the information we are getting product ID and total quantity sold. Okay, so task number two is completed. Now what task is determine the total number of transaction for each customer. So this is very similar to the first problem that we solved here. Task number three, I will just copy this, right? I will just change the variable names. So customer transaction DF, We, we need to do it by sales here only okay and what we need to group by on the basis of customer id and here what we want we want count right and count of we can give a star we need to provide any column it would be better if we provide a star only so we can give it star count star you can give a as a total transaction. And I think this is fine and they should be uh, giving us the desired result. Let us run this. No syntax error will be there. That is uh, for sure. See customer ID in total transaction. To do transaction both the customer have made we can already see here right customer id one zero like one transaction id so both have done the two transactions so this is it then find the customer who have made the most number uh, most number of transaction so again this is you know very similar question like task two and task four both are same we can get this uh, like we can be doing you no know, order by and then this should be same thing only just I need to rename this like when there are you no know, multiple records then this can be useful but here it will not be of much use because we are having uh, you know both has equal number of uh, transaction still let us you know most uh, like top customer transaction you can print this as well
so customer id 103 total transaction 2 so it is picking up the top record like the latest record because we are doing uh, auto buy total transaction and we are doing as a descending so randomly it has you know picked up the record so that's not an issue so you can see this like there can be you no know, because this was tricky because we are having this kind of json right all this question was uh, just for you know uh, to keep the attention of the interviewee towards the uh, question actually but the main thing here was to let me plug in the charger okay so the main thing here was to check the uh, to check the interview that uh, if he understand you know file type whether he has really worked with the json file so and providing this option as multi line as true then only this question can be solved otherwise it is not possible to solve the question so this kind of you know tricky question interviewer gives so that we you know they check the uh, like knowledge and you know how much uh, like uh, how quickly you know he gets the question so thank you and please subscribe my channel and do let me know your comments your views and definitely i will try to work on that and one thing i would like to suggest uh, that please practice all this question this will be very helpful for your interviews when you're going to interviews for for the big data or you know pi spark or data so this all is going to be very helpful because similar kind of question you will be getting and my playlist uh, i'm getting you know good feedback for that so and i want you to all you to please you know share it with your friends and your network so that you know everyone gets benefited and it keeps you motivated to create more videos so yeah thank you